if you want to work for us at a deco, what we expect is that you are um, driven and bring great knowledge and work ethic to the table. Um, I think anymore we hear a lot of, I just need someone that is smart and wants to work hard. And uh, that people are used to giving millennials the out of they don't work hard. And so um, that's become something that they're very passionate about is that they just want someone that works hard and that looks different to different generations. And so that's been an interesting divide. So because we are a staffing company, we're, it just depends on the position. So we recruit for all over the valley. Um, temp, and temp to hire is really nice because you can get your foot in the door. And a lot of companies, if they get someone in and they're a good culture fit and they work really hard, they'll find a place in their company for, for that person. Um, but the skill set would really just depend on what we're staffing for at that, at that time. I think just going back to having eye contact, keeping your phone away and out of sight um, while you're working, not being on, you know, being available all day um, and being focused. I think those are some of, you know, kind of the skills that we don't think of as, as you know, younger generation. It, it's weird not to be, not to be reached on our phone, but it, you know, companies really value the fact that they're paying you um, to be there. And, and I think that's something that frustrates a lot of people. We, I think any work experience is important work experience. The nice part about a temp company or attempt to hire is that we go out and sell that person. And so we're kind of the middleman in creating that relationship. And honestly, when someone comes into the office, if they are professionally addressed, if they can speak well, if they don't have errors in their resume, things like that, there's a good chance I can turn around and sell them to a company that's a good fit for, based on their skill set. Um, so I think really just being working, being involved in your community, showing things like that is something that we can turn around and market. Um, so I think finding opportunities, whatever that looks like, but having some sort of job, you have to have some sort of job history. Uh, even if you're coming right out of college, you know, find some opportunity that you can be a part of um, outside of, you know, kind of your college workload. A lot of it really depends, again, you know, kind of on the, on the position, on the company, but I think yeah, it goes back to the basics of showing up on time, showing up, not calling in sick, things like that at first. Um, when you're calling out all the time, it, it just it leaves a bad taste in people's mouths. So I think as far as work ethic goes, we just have to go back again, keep your phone away, show up on time, be respectful and be polite to people. Um, Kind of the, it, what seems really basic, but I, I think we've gone so far away from some of that 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 we need to kind of reel that back in a little bit. Probably listening. Someone that can be charismatic, but really listening. I think it comes back to being most important because you don't know what to say until someone tells you what they need. And so you can, you know, if you sell a product before you know what someone's need is, it doesn't do you any good because you might be missing a point. So I think listening as far as characteristics go um, is most important. I... would define success as... being a part of a team and being able to support and provide value to that team while also gaining support and value from whatever position or that kind of thing. I had a job where I was making a lot of money and, and at the end of the day I just wasn't happy and so I think part of success is also um, really enjoying what you do that 40 hours a week and um, and, and feeling like you're impacting the community and, 
for the better. So, doing good. Just come in the door, I think, I think, like I said, Temp and Temp to Hire is a great opportunity for people coming out of college, because companies are looking for talent, what whatever that looks like, and so, you know, we want to get people working, and the best thing ever is that, you know, we spend our day finding jobs for people, and that can be really stressful. Having someone that goes out and markets for you for free is pretty, pretty awesome, and so I think if more, had I known coming out of grad school that that was an option, um, I would have jumped all over that because it's, it is hard to learn how to market yourself, but we're literally having companies come to us and saying, we can't find good people to do our jobs. Um, can you, you know, you find them for us. And so whether that's a temp or a temp to hire situation, I, I think it's a great opportunity to get your foot in the door and show people that you know how to work and you're kind and you, you work well with other people and you, you'd be an asset to their team. Um, and with unemployment as low as it is right now, if you show those qualities, there's a good chance you can find a spot on their team.